this is Justin Woodall with Keller Williams Realty, Greater Athens, your trusted Athens real estate advisor. And a few weeks ago, I sent out an email asking for questions of, from you who watch these videos, who follow this blog, questions you may have about the local real estate market, about selling, about buying, anything real estate related. So if you've got any questions that you have not submitted, feel free to email me, uh, respond, reply to this email. Uh, if you're watching this from an email, I'll be happy to... Uh, try to answer your question as well as these. Today's question comes from Sharon, who's a past client who's since moved to Florida. Uh, and Sharon asks, should I wait until I've paid off all my consumer debt before trying to buy a house? And honestly, Sharon, I think, in my opinion, that kind of comes down to your, your financial philosophy. Uh, some people are very conservative when it comes to finances. Others are very liberal when it comes to finances. So I think it really depends on where you fit in that spectrum. Uh, you know, if you're a little more liberal, you know, lenders will give you the loan. You can find the money uh, as long as you've got a, well, in some cases, you can get 100% financing if you've got a good credit score. Uh, so if you've got the credit, there's probably a lender out there that, that can get you in with a small down payment as long as you can make that payment. Uh, I will caution you, though, I've seen this happen many times. Oftentimes, in my opinion, you can get approved for a loan that's much higher than you really need or much higher than what you're going to be comfortable paying. So you know kind of what you're comfortable with on a monthly basis. So I would say use that as your guide and make sure you don't overextend yourself. Now, if you lean more towards the conservative side, uh, and, and if you, you know towards the Dave Ramsey philosophy of pay down debt, get out of debt quick, that kind of style. And, and I've done some things with Dave Ramsey, and he's got a great program, by the way. Uh, but basically, you know, his strategy and his advice is to always put 20% down always do a 15-year mortgage. Now, that's probably not right for everyone, but that if you know that is a good philosophy. It's a good way to get that mortgage knocked out quick and to get into a place that should we see a recession like we saw a few years ago, I don't think very many places prices fell more than 20%. So if you had that 20% down, you paid that mortgage down quick because in 15 years, five years into that 15-year mortgage, you've paid down a chunk of that debt already you kind of stay in a place that you're not going to have to write a check to go to closing. So that's kind of the conservative side, the liberal side in today's world. You know, if you got the money, there's a bank out there that will lend it to you if you've got the credit and the income to support that. So hope that helps. Uh, my personal advice would be, you know, obviously feel comfortable with the payment, uh, but if you've got a lot of credit card debt, things like that, it's probably better to go ahead and, get control of that situation, get those paid off before you move forward. But again, every, everybody's got to have that comfort level.